So we're starting this video pretty unusually over here. Uh, we're actually on our way to a Katimo store and cafe. And Katimo is a beautiful, beautiful Ukrainian brand founded in 2015 by Katya Timoshenko, the designer, and her husband Vitaly Panov. And I love them. They're my friends, and I love them dearly. And I've known them since that time because I've, you know, I've been wearing Katimo all this time. So this video is. A first video I think in our series that we're planning to do about Ukrainian brands and different Ukrainian and key of places that I love and I would like to make you acquainted with and Katimo is one of those places in Kiev that's very very quintessential in terms of things that you can do there because you will see it's just a beautiful place it has a cafe and the place where the cafe now is it was actually initially just a small boutique with their Katimo brand and when the brand grew they decided to create this like whole vibe and space with a cafe on the first floor and then there's a store in the backyard on the second floor which is really really beautiful and I'll show them to you in a moment so Katimo they started experimenting when the brand started they started experimenting with different styles and what they ended up with and what's their core actually and what's their core aesthetic is like beautiful minimalistic unique timeless pieces that are kind of feminine they have a lot of natural materials they have a lot a lot of wool a lot of suede a lot of faux suede but very quality materials like a very quality faux suede which you'll see in this collection that launched a couple days ago and the Katimo brand is kind of getting more and more recognition around the world and I think it's very well deserved because of the quality of their pieces and the price point of their pieces and they have this like middle to up range which is really really a nice price point in terms of cost per wear and also the quality of their items and their pieces are really unique in terms of styling because they never do go out of style because they're so kind of minimalistic yet art-like and you will definitely see that in a moment and this new collection of theirs is very like autumn fall colors muted beautiful classy feminine it's really really cool it has a lot of textures and materials you'll definitely see but first we'll definitely get into the katimo store and the katimo um, cafe and we'll get some coffee and then we'll proceed from there and i think i'm pretty sure we'll also get acquainted with the designer herself because she's in there somewhere from what i know from what i gathered today so yeah let's go yeah, so we're here actually. Let's go in. This is the Katimo Cafe. Let's get some coffee and go to the store. Getting some decaf Americano, which is not that usual for Ukraine, for Kyiv specifically, because actually it's really hard to find decaf coffee in uh, Ukraine. Most of the places have like different fancy coffees, but no decaf. So in their courtesy to me, they've decided to get that decaf coffee just to make me happy. And I'm really, really happy because we're renting our new office space just across the uh, street from this space. So I will be getting my decaf coffee here and then going to our office, which is green and this is the place it looks absolutely magnificent it has a lot of amazing snacks a lot of healthy snacks as well they have one of the best coffees in kiev honestly so do recommend to me i feel like Vrytorska. this is the street that this cafe is on and this shop is on this is definitely one of the hippest places in Kyiv. This is definitely one of the places in Kyiv where people gather, where people go take some coffee, go for a walk because it's the historical city center. It's very, very unique and very old. And this place is one of the best spaces and like vibe be places in Raiders Cut because it's so unique and cool because you can get some food, you can get some snacks, you can get one of the best coffees in here as I mentioned and then you can go into the store but also you can go into the backyard and sit and get your coffee and walk around your dog and talk with friends etc and then go upstairs and look at some Katimo collection and this place is just this has this like 
energy, very calming, very beautiful. And also over here, I think every week they switch up their bouquet according to the season and the mood. And their bouquets are made by a beautiful Ukrainian Kiev-based florist whose account name is Mutabor Mutabor. I would definitely put it over here somewhere on the screen. And her bouquets are top-notch. They're the bouquets I've never seen in my life, actually. They're so, so unique and beautiful, and you should definitely check them out. So here's the backyard of Katimo Cafe. Uh, this is a place where people get their coffee and they sit with friends and just, you know, talk about life, war life balance, as it happens here in Kyiv. And um, this is very vibey. It's very cozy. It's very calm. The mood here is very relaxing. I absolutely love this place just to chill with some book and to talk with friends and then go upstairs to the uh, store. So take a look at this place and then we'll go upstairs to the store. Katimo Brands Terrace. This is my favorite place over here. This is the place where we gather with basically Katya, uh, the founder of the brand, and our friends, and our group of girlfriends, and we laugh, and we chat, and we drink coffee. This is a perfect place, especially when it's warm outside. This is very vibey, as you can definitely see, and this is a place to get into the brand store. So let's go in. So here we are in the holy grail of the space, Katimo store. And it's the new collection is actually right over here. You can definitely see it. You will have a possibility and opportunity to see this one more close up. And there's some of their previous collections over here. They also have the tableware collection where they have some home pieces. And this is the new collection, which is the fall winter collection, which is absolutely beautiful, one of my favorites. And actually, today I'm wearing their blazer, wool blazer from the last collection, which is really, really warm and cool. And um, so this store, I think, was built maybe like two years ago and before that previously the place which you've seen which is the Katimo Cafe at the moment it was their small tiny boutique store and that's all they had and then they reconstructed that one and made that one into a cafe and then they have this backyard and then they had this absolutely magnificent place rebuilt and made into their store which is really really cool very minimalistic and cute and I absolutely love it and um, I think what we'll do is I'll show you some of their pieces now and then we'll try something on and then uh, we'll see so one of my favorite pieces from their collection is definitely this blazer this is how it looks like on the hanger and this is how it looks like on me it's really really warm really cool and their price point is really good in terms of like it's a middle range which is a great quality and a great price and they're sourcing their materials from italy from france etc so it's very very beautiful quality and one next piece i absolutely love from their collection is this suit made of two things. So first of all, those are called curly pants because of the fabric. And the next one is this corset that's called a curly corset. And paired together, they look absolutely magnificent and beautiful and stunning. And I love their look with like heels and maybe like a bright clutch to brighten the look up and make it stand out more. And most of their pieces from this collection are made actually from very warm materials so you know definitely corsets are very in at the moment but what they did they reconsidered this whole trend and made it more appropriate for this fall to winter weather which is definitely colder at least over here in ukraine and um what's really crazy also and i i definitely must say this is that you know the war is still pretty much happening so russia invaded ukraine and the war is still happening and uh, two days ago there were explosions so rockets russian rockets were fired into kiev city center at least like maybe less than a kilometer from here and the city keeps on living so kiev made up all the streets they took care of the bomb sites and 
people keep drinking coffee, going to cafes, going to stores, people keep producing collection, even during the war, which is absolutely crazy to think. And uh, I know a lot of people are like, what, how is this happening? How people are not fleeing the country and staying over here? But you know, people are sturdy and Ukrainians are very strong at the moment. Um, so yeah, the next piece I absolutely love from this collection is this jacket with a scarf attached to it. It's really, really warm. The color is like a nice neutral beige and I think it would work really well with some like light denim or cream denim also some leather pants or something or so with a dress, a knit dress. It's a perfect piece for this like transitional autumn to winter weather and it could be layered with a lot of sweaters and knits etc. absolute favorite piece from this whole collection is definitely this suit. This is two-piece suit made of this actually faux suede, which you would not believe because the quality and the weight of this faux suede is crazy and it definitely looks like an actual real suede. And this is a blazer and they have these slim cropped pants and together they look absolutely stunning and I would definitely try this one on for sure if they have my size in stock and I was here actually a couple of days ago and I purchased a couple of the items myself so I'm just coming back here to show you everything one cute piece from this collection it's also really unique at least I didn't see this one or something like this for I don't know 10 years now in different designers collection is this crazy dress that looks like a dress with feathers down below and it's a maxi stunning dramatic dress and it's made out of very thin wool material which is really really warm actually and all of this collection actually i need to mention was inspired by a bird a type of bird a specific type of bird that has um, a tradition to always come back home. The name of this collection is coming back home or returning home and this specific bird which actually lives in this area is the only or one of the only birds that always comes back home whenever it flies somewhere so it's very very dear to our heart and they have in their collection specifically in like the coat over here you can see the signature bird as a button it's made specifically by Katimo for their collection and designed by them as well and this um, beautiful very very merino wool, very warm coat is perfect for this transitional weather as well but also for winter especially if you live somewhere in the United States especially for example in like New York Boston whatever and you have a milder winter than in Kiev for sure because in Kiev our winters are definitely kind of on the severe side definitely more severe than New York or Boston and definitely more severe than LA etc this would definitely work for you for the colder months for sure and also one cool piece from this collection I absolutely love are these sheer mesh leggings that could be worn as a very unique interesting layering piece with some knits and what I think would work with this collection specifically is like taking this deep navy beautiful knit sweater and then this deep navy matching skirt and then wearing these leggings speaking out of the skirt and then wearing some heels or slippers or loafers or whatever just to show them off and this would give you some layering this would also give you some warmth because they're kind of giving like just more coverage for your legs as opposed to bare legs but also they would be looking more interesting as opposed to your like casual you know tights because they have this like unfinished raw ham which is going to look really cool. So I do really sincerely hope you've loved Katimo brand 
as I do, and I'm actually really happy to start this new chapter of sharing and having the honor to share and show you Ukrainian brands, designers, and I'm really honored to be here to witness their strength to keep going while the war is pretty much still really happening, to keep doing new collections, to keep creating, to keep pushing this fashion place forward, to keep moving Ukraine towards the better future. And I sincerely hope you get deeper into Ukrainian fashion and see how many talented, unique creatives we have now and how much they're fighting for their independence and also for their creative freedom. And uh, they're really prevailing. And we have a lot of talented people here and I'm really happy to share them with you. And this is it for today. Let me know in the comments below which brand you would like to see more of, which Ukrainian brand you would like to see next in this series. And also maybe some new ideas for videos. Let me know in the comments below which piece of Katimo is your favorite one that I've shown you today. Also, obviously, share your opinions on this video and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!